In this video, I'm going to go over some quick uh, little tips here about the Maya interface. I'm using Maya 2009 here, by the way. Okay, so let's get started here. Now, Maya has a lot of elements to its interface, as you can see it at the first glance here. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to show you what some of these parts of the interface are called and what they are. Okay, in the top here, we have the main menus. Now, these main menus, if you click on them, will open up some menus here of different tools. When you see one of these little black arrow icons next to a menu item, it means that there's a sub-menu associated with that menu. So for example here, if I go to the display menu, go to heads up display, I can see I have a sub-menu here with quite a number of options. A check mark next to one of these menu items indicates that that specific tool or menu item is currently active or selected. Okay. So let me close that by clicking on the uh, main menu button there again. Over here just below that, we'll see that we have a huge row of icons. We also have this drop down box over here with different menu sets for animation, polygon, surfaces, dynamics, rendering, and dynamics. And we can also customize and create our own menu sets. This area of the interface is called the status line. Okay, and the status line has a whole host of different buttons here that we can use. Now, below that, we have the shelves. The shelves are basically a series of different tabs here which we can click on to open up a different number of tools. So you can think of it almost like a shelf uh, for tools where you can place different tools and we have some default shelves here. You can see here we have shelves for general operations, for working with curves or surfaces or polygons or subdivision surfaces. We can also go ahead and create our own custom shelves here. Right here in our viewport we have a couple of different menu sets here. On the top here, we have the panel menu. It allows you to select some different options here that pertain to the way that you view things inside of your viewport. So for example, if you go to shading, you can switch to a wireframe view. You can switch to smooth shade all, which is the mode that I'm using right now in this specific case. You can also use x-ray mode and a whole host of different options here for controlling the way that you view things inside of your viewport. Just below that, we have the panel toolbar. And what we have here is a series of different icons and symbols here that represent different operations. Many of them operations that can be found here in these menus up here. The reason for these icons is for a little bit more convenience. So for example if you want to turn the grid here in the viewport on and off you can hit this grid icon. Now it's off when I click on it and becomes active you'll see it turns yellow and that means that the grid is turned on. Okay. I can also turn my light in my viewport off or I could turn it on. To the left over here, going vertically on the left side of our interface here, is the toolbox. The toolbox contains some of the most commonly used tools that you're going to use over and over again, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of times as you work through Maya. Okay? For example, here we have the select tool, which is just indicated by the single arrow icon there. Then we also have some other tools down here, like this tool, for example, which activates the translate tool. Just under that we have the rotate tool and just under that we have the scale tool plus a few others here. Okay. Just below that we also have another similar menu that's going also in a vertical fashion. This is called the quick layout buttons. These buttons allow you to quickly change between different layout configurations for the way that you see your viewport here inside of Maya. So for example depending on the icon we can switch to say four viewports which we can see here. We can also switch back to a single viewport. And we have a few different buttons here that change the different preset layouts that we can choose. Okay, Down here, just below the viewport, you'll find the time slider. You'll also find the range slider. And these are directly associated with animation inside of Maya. This is where you can actually control animation and actually set keys, things like that, when working with animation in Maya. Just below that, you'll see this Mel command over here, this little Mel icon. And this is actually called the command line. This is where you can actually go ahead and see different results. For example, if you get a warning message from Maya, you'll see it over here in this gray area. If you want to go ahead and type in your own Mel commands, if you're a Mel scripter, you can type those commands in here and execute them. Okay? And just below that, you'll find the helpline. The helpline, you can't actually interact with it. You can't type anything in the helpline. The helpline is designed, as the name suggests, to help you. So for example, if I hover my mouse over a specific tool or icon up here somewhere in this part of the interface or anywhere in the interface, if there's any help associated with that button or icon or that tool, you'll notice that down here in the helpline, you'll get a quick little tip on what that tool might actually do. 
So for example, if I hover my mouse over this little blue sphere icon here in the uh, status line, you'll notice that in the help line, it'll say select rendering objects, and then parentheses it says RMB for more info. RMB being short for right mouse button. So it's a very useful uh, way to understand and get some quick feedback and information on what specific tools or icons actually do if you're not too sure what they're used for. Over here in the right part of the interface we have some more elements. For example, this large section here is called the channel box. If I select any object in my scene here, just by clicking on it, you notice here in the channel box it becomes active and we'll have the name of the object here. We'll also have some attributes here in the channel box like the translate values, the rotate values, the scale values, and the visibility. Just below that here is the layer editor. The layer editor has three different modes. We have display mode here, render, and animation layers. Now depending on what you're working on and how you're working, for example, let's say you're focusing on just modeling inside of Maya at the moment and you're not animating anything or doing anything else, you're just modeling. Well, maybe you don't need any of these animation tools down here. So to get rid of some of these UI elements or user interface elements, we can click on a specific icon that you'll see throughout the interface. Okay, Pretty much every element of the interface has a specific button associated to it. It's a little bit difficult to see, but if you look closely, you notice that all these different elements have this little arrow icon with these little dots. Okay, What that icon allows you to do is to hide specific parts of the interface. Probably the largest icon here in the interface is the one just above the channel box right here. Okay, You notice that there's this line here of dots and over here on the left there's a little tiny black arrow icon. If we go ahead and click on that button, what happens is we hide that element of the user interface. So now it's gone, giving us more space to work in our viewport here. If I want to go ahead and get rid of these animation elements down here, I can click on their corresponding hide icons and I can hide all that stuff there. Maybe I don't even want any of this stuff down here. Like let's say the command line, I can get rid of it. Maybe I want to keep the help line down here, so I'll keep that. Maybe I don't need the toolbox here on the left, so I'll get rid of that. And now I have maximized my viewport space here from my perspective viewport because I'm modeling and what I have to focus on is the viewport and what I'm modeling inside that viewport. Okay? So to bring that stuff back, how do I do it? Because now the icons are gone, I can't just bring it back. Well, we can go up here to display, you can go to UI elements, and here, as long as there's a check mark next to one of these UI elements, it'll come back. So for example, remember the channel box? Well, here's the channel box slash layer editor. There's no check mark next to it, which means that it's hidden. So all we have to do is click on it to unhide it, and you see it comes back. If you want to, you can also go to display UI elements, and go to restore UI elements, or go to show all UI elements, if you want to bring all of those user, inter user interface elements back uh, to their full view. So there you go, some helpful information on the Maya user interface.